welcome to skill industrial this is the plastic trim project this project is completed by my student i will discuss about this project in brief majorly we will discuss about how to find the tooling direction for a class surface and how to use power copy for the plastic trims so let us start i will explain one by one so first of all suppose in case of a class surface which we got from the oem customer we create a standardized product structure so in this history we create a geometrical set that is class a surface in this this is the surface hide this solid body so this is the surface which we got from oem customer so after that we make one more geometrical set that is tooling direction in tooling direction first of all we create a point on surface of this a class after that we create a line by using the compass direction here compass direction is z so we will make this line by using the z direction this is the assembly direction but in z direction we are not able to clear this part from the plastic mold so in that case what we will do we will create another tooling line which will be in some angle so that our part will clear from this side from the mold initially we have made one line that is line 3 but according to this line we get the undercut on side surface so after that we created new line that is line 4 if we check with line 4 our surface is clear from the mold let us check first of all i will check with both the tooling lines in which tooling line our surface will clear i will show you by using the draft analysis tool so this is the draft analysis tool which is already perform first of all take this shading mode just click on this this is the our initial line so here you are able to see this is the red color it means this is the undercut so we will use second line which we have created this one so in this you are able to see we are having same color on side surface it means there is no undercut so that's why we have freeze this tooling direction for this part click okay hide the old one this is old line and this is the latest tooling line so we will keep this dotted line now i am going to hide this one go to this mode so we have created point and we have created the tooling line after that we will create the axis system this is the axis system so suppose i edit this axis system you are able to see this is the point 3 this is the point 3 and here z axis is the line 4 so this is our line 4 this axis will be as per the new tooling line so our axis has been created point has been created and line has created so next what we will do we will create the new geometrical set that is close volume and under this close volume we will make class a class b and class c surface so in class a surface what we will do we will uh, use the same surface that is uh, this customer surface and copy and paste in class a surface so we will use copy and paste here the customer surface and then this is the class b surface in class b surface what we do we just offset the class a surface as per the thickness of plastic part so here 2.5 mm thickness so we have offsetted this surface by 2.5 mm now this is the class c surface what is the class c surface class c surface is the surface which is created between class a and class b so this surface is known as class c surface this one next all three surfaces has been created class a class b and class c then finally we will join all three surfaces 
with the merging distance of 0.001 click okay so after join we will check is there any boundary exist or not suppose there is no boundary then we will go to part modeling and we'll take the this is the closed surface definition by using this closed surface definition we will make it solid i am going to hide this close volume and this a class surface and unhide the solid part this is our solid part so we have made this solid by using the this closed surface definition then after that in second window what we have done we have made the mounting boss in separate window and we have make it new part file that is here name is part 2 this file is having point tooling line and coordinate axis so we have made it separately so we will use this mounting boss for the power copy so next what we have done we have created one more geometrical set that is ss in this geometrical set we have created the points where we want mounting boss so this is our first point it means this point is this one and second point is this one so we have created two points these are the points then after that we have insert one more geometrical set that is reference boss by using this reference boss we have import these three mounting bosses by using the power copy tool after importing these three mounting bows we have merge these three mounting bows with this body here you are able to see we have used this boolean operation that is union trim by using the union trim we have merged this mounting bows with this plastic body same thing we have done here we have taken union trim and merged it with the plastic body after completing this we have provided the radius on the sharp corner and this becomes a single part body so this plastic trim part is ready so this is the approach in catia we need to follow for creating the cad model thank you